I'm intrigued by the extensive security settings at the Chrome device settings for users and browsers. Can I briefly elaborate on this? Absolutely. Let's go and review some security settings. So users and browsers. So our main tools for Chrome are inside our Google admin panel. So you go to Google admin and from Google admin, if you go down to devices and then Chrome and then settings, going to give you the ability to manage a bunch of different settings. Now I'm going to give you a very brief overview here. These are the kind of settings that we cover inside our Google Workspace Bootcamp. So if you're interested in learning a bit more about actually configuring these for your business and, and some of the ones that are the most useful, I'd recommend you come along to a bootcamp. But what these settings effectively allow you to do is both deploy policy to the user session in Google Chrome. So that's like the user settings, anywhere someone signs in with a user account or to apply policies to devices. And devices are on a device level for any managed devices. So if they're a Chrome-based device, they need to have a device license, device management license. They need to be enrolled into your Workspace account. But that gives you the ability to control pretty much any feature you can think of inside a Chrome device. And there's all kinds of amazing things that you can do like create kiosk mode and signage and lots of different options there. But let's focus on the user and browser settings because these are the ones that are most relevant because these are gonna work on any computer inside your Google Workspace ecosystem as long as they are signed into Google Chrome. And so that's why it's important for you to have a policy inside your company that every single user signs into their Google Chrome profile using their business account because then all of the correct policies will be enabled. Okay, so all kinds of different features here. You can do things from you know requiring enrollment to website, security settings. You know, you can choose how long browser data is kept. Like you can really go super crazy granular. I try and support small business owners as much as possible. So I'm gonna share with you a couple that I think are really relevant to small business to make things easy. One is to actually have managed bookmarks. So on startup here, you can choose the startup options, things like what do you want people to have as their homepage? What do you want people to choose when they open up a new tab? You can set the defaults like, for example, when someone opens up a Chrome browser, do you want them to always open the last session that they had available? Do you want to open up a uh, you know particular set of URLs? Do you want them to open up a fresh page? Or do you want them to be able to choose themselves? Most of these options will kind of allow the user to decide and then have an option for you to enforce a rule. Um, and these go top down. You can see there's different organizational units here on the left-hand side. And so if you wanna create different groups of staff, add them to different organizational units, then you can do that and apply different policies to different groups of staff. So if you've got, if you're big enough to have different teams, you may choose to have a different set of bookmarks for different teams. Yeah, plenty of different options there. Here we go, manage bookmarks. I'm surprised that didn't show up in the search anyway. But if you look under the user experience menu, uh, you can see here you can add managed bookmarks. And so choosing to add managed bookmarks basically lets you have a list of websites that show up automatically for your team as like a default set of links. And so um, if I open up a new tab here, I, I can't zoom in, so it's a bit, maybe a bit hard for you to see, but all the way on the left-hand side, there's actually a folder here called links, and they are all of my managed bookmarks that just sit there automatically, and every one of my staff has them as well. And so that's really useful if you want everyone to have a standardized set of bookmarks. You would put all of your standard business tools in there. You can see here that we have done that. And then every new starter who joins your business is automatically going to have all the tools that they need to be able to get their work done. And, you know, we're working in the cloud, the, the cloud reality now where every single person is going to be doing probably most of their work these days online. And yet when someone joins your company as a newbie, they're probably going to be a little overwhelmed with having to sign into five or six different apps and remember all the names and you, they're probably going to find themselves creating a, you know, a list for it. What this feature does is it just gives them one place to go to to access everything and make it super simple. The next one that I really like inside user and browser settings is the ability to force install plugins uh, into Google Chrome. So if you're using something like LastPass, I use another one called Awesome Screenshot. If you're using, uh, I mean, I use Screencastify or you might use Loom for recording screencasts and videos and those kind of things. 
If you want to deploy an application down to every single person inside your company, uh, where well you can actually choose to force install applications inside Google Chrome. And so here we, we have our apps under the apps and extensions menu. Oh, it looks like it may have been moved now, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the apps and extensions page. And here you can see that we've got the different apps that we have force installed to our team members. So, uh, you know, there's a Gmail app that's been forced installed, Google Drive, Clipboard History Pro, Office Editing for Docs and Cheats. We've got lots of different options there. I'm not sure why LastPass is not there, but maybe we've done that via a separate policy. Oh, page one of two, there we go. LastPass, Adblock, Screencastify um, have, all been, uh, have all been added there as well. So that gives you the ability to push down certain apps, creating what we in the IT space call a standard operating environment for your staff. And when you create a standard operating environment, that is like, what do we want every one of our team members to actually have access to? What do we want everyone to you know, open up to or wake up to when they, when they actually access their machine? So if you're interested in rolling out any of those policies, there's two ways that we can help. Number one is head along to a bootcamp because we go into a little bit more detail and actually guide you through setting them up in the room. Our bootcamp is all about helping you to implement in the room. Amazing way for you and your team to get up to speed with all the basics of workspace that you should implement as an administrator. But if you're interested in just having someone do it for you, then you should consider our concierge program. Amazingly, amazingly affordable. Basically, you get a fully highly trained virtual assistant for your Google Workspace account. And for any of these administration operations, you can send a message off to our team, ask them to help you out with something, and they will get you helped out. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.